enjoy it because I don't go to four o'clock. The bands are going to kill them. They're going to get are killed all together. That's this Sunday. No, it isn't. They're going to kill them. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's it's gonna gonna like kill Chicago the Bears. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. The Maven. <laughs> Well, you know what he said about Walter Payton. They're going to kill him. Yeah, well, if they, they, uh, the they lose their You know, let me tell you something. She knows more about it. We didn't go away. Oh, you go yeah. away? A lot of people are there. We did last year. We went down to the city. That's right. Well, you don't go away. I'm just doing things. I think you are. I do it every year. Really? Dad's usually not there, but he might be here. What's that? I said Thanksgiving. I go out at their home. I'm here. I do it anyway. I don't know whether we're going away. Thank you for coming. Um, the name of this show is A Little Dance, A Little Speech, and A Little Music. Thank you. The first thing will be the speech. Listen, my children, and you will hear no, the first music. Time, tell me the name of it. Throw them out. What I don't have more money. What do you got to do is subtract 13 from 72. I can't keep that stack of marks as eight. He's four years younger than I am. That's a, that's a famous joke, though. We, every time we, somebody introduces the two of us together, I mean one or the other, I always, I always say that, uh, he's, remember that he's, uh, he's, I'm the youngest. Well, I'm <laughs> no I'm way! I'm four years old with him. Let him dream. That's no, right, Mark. Let the old man dream. What? Five years younger than Just because he's smaller than you. 
<laughs> Libby, Libby used to say, well, he's got better looking legs than you do. <laughs> Dave or you? He's are skinny. Well, now, but at that time. Oh, he had better looking legs than you, huh? He had better looking legs. I can never forget you in that car with Edgar Barber. Yeah. I, I, the other day I was thinking about that. Nine years old with two two pillars underneath me and two behind That's me, and right I'm driving a that big picture. old fashioned car. Nine years old. You look, you look like a race driver. <clears throat> Edgar, Edgar Barber used to call Edgar me Barber. Chief. And you and Edgar he was Barber. Chief. You, you know why he called me Chief? Chief, I know. You know why? He called me Chief because Harry Oliver used to call me Chief Rain in the face because I was crying all the time. <laughs> See, and that was a Harry Oliver's name for me, was Chief yeah, Rain in the true. face. And so I was crying all the time. Well, he, I was, was, uh, he was a sick boy. I you know, he was 12 years old. So, so, so what's his name? Edgar Barber, the, the chauffeur. He just shortened it, and I remember he made me, uh, he painted me a sled. I had a flexible yeah. flyer, and yeah. on it he wrote Chief, you know, with fancy oh, letters. Oh, he used to take such good care of you. Yeah, really? anyway. oh yeah. God, I remember, we used, to, we used to have maids, and they'd end up always being drunk, and my poor mother would, would go over, they wouldn't show up, and she'd go in some place, and she'd haul them out and stick them in the back of the car and oh. bring them up. So they could so they could sleep it, the and sleep it off. No, she never had anything. Take them home and take them out. 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 Well, here, you sit over here, Ruth, and okay. Jane can sit here. Okay. And, and Dave will sit here. Hoxie, you want to sit yeah, next? Well, I'm short. Short. Hey, Dave, why don't you sit it's here? Jarvin was her fish man. Roby was her, my God, look at these names. Roby. That was her egg man. Now Roby was her egg man. Deliver right to the house. And Jarvin. Hike Muller was her fish man. But she had, and she would go in there and she'd take, she cut one swap, I tell you. And she got in and the chauffeur was there and he'd load everything in. Same way 
even when I was you know, older, after I was 16 and could drive, on uh, around Easter, Christmas time, and she, and they were depleted and stocked in the store, and she and I would leave about eight o'clock in the morning, and we would drive over to Baltimore where the where the wholesalers were, and uh, right on right on Packer, Packer right. and Pratt and Lombard, right, right in that area, old, and then she would go through the wholesale and buy the stuff, pack it up, put it right in the back of the car. We come back, hang it up, label it, right in. Oh, boy. She yeah. was one oh, tough boy. lady. <laughs> and she lived to be almost 86. 86. And it wasn't for that damn fall, she'd she still probably be she oh, yeah. died. Before I got married, she used to make me come in that shit. Because you watch everything I do, because you've got to know how to cook when you get married. That's all there is to it. And I had, that's why I took all the chicken. All that work came to me, Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. On a Sunday morning, she was a dining room, of course, everybody came to our house. And everybody we came on the Sunday way. Afternoon. Everybody. Sunday afternoon, we, we sit all down. the freeloaders came. All the time. Time. Let me tell you, I talk about freeloaders. She never Sunday cooked less than three chickens for a Sunday, oh, and she you, knew man. that they were going to come. Yeah. So yeah. she had three or four chickens already, okay? And we sit down here about two or three o'clock, and then they started to parade. Harry and Seal, yeah. Mary and Gabe. Uh, Joe and Willie, and they would all pile in in that dining room. And they'd sail after dinner Sunday night, too. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. I had they, all the dishes. They'd to play cards. Jaime and Joe, and they'd go upstairs and play poker. They'd play poker. We had a and they'd all stop by on the, They're going to Baltimore. They're going yeah, to Baltimore. Going to Baltimore. Yeah. They and they go through this little song and dance. And my mother yeah. would say, yeah. yeah. Why are you going to Baltimore? We, said, we have plenty of food here. No, no, we don't want to eat here. We're going to Baltimore. We're going over and, yeah. and they'd get stuff over there, you know. Go to Miller's or whatever. The fish oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah she, she was really tough. She was I used to take it to Zonko down lady. on Georgia Avenue for the holidays. Yeah. Oh, boy. Boy, she gave that redhead a hard time. <laughs> he had, this is what you need. She said, I'll pick up the fish. And she'd pick up the fish and look in the eyes and said, okay, this one's all right. This, I don't want this one. So, <laughs> she knew what this fish and what was it, I guarantee you. And we'd load up with, that's when she had the apartment. Yeah. On Queen Street, mm -hmm. and, and oh, of the fish. You mean yeah? yeah. This but she take it down there and chop it. You know that right. big board she I did. She didn't mm -hmm. believe. She, big one. she didn't believe in uh, in grinding fish mm -hmm. to make the yeah. filter fish. So filter the fish. She, she made the chop it with a with a, a knife. You know, with a big square blade, and she would whop whop whop. That thing would move faster. You think oh you had an electrical you don't connection with it? That's how that hand. thing would move. Whoop, 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 any frozen uh, vegetables for years. Always cooked that. Always. Everything, everything was fresh. See when she and lived by herself. macaroni and cheese. Oh, God. She was, oh. she was drifting. Was about We're talking about my mother. Oh, my God. <laughs> she was quite a girl. She said, tough, but never malicious. Oh, no. Never. Oh, you know, Lawrence, for a woman that never went beyond the fourth grade. Third grade. She had such practical knowledge. Oh, yeah. She was smart. She was she a good the language she could speak. She was an excellent businesswoman. Oh, yeah. You couldn't put a thing over her. No, she was, she was very tough. But she, uh, my father didn't run the business. No, she was a business. Mm -hmm. Always was. He was the mayor. He was the mayor of 7th Street, <laughs> and everybody was friendly with him, and he lent everybody money, and lost money, and lent money, and lost money. To everybody, and he did nothing to do with the business. No, he was in the business. He worked. Yeah, but he didn't, time. Do, he didn't do. He didn't do the buying. buying. He wait on the customers. Sometimes, yeah. No, but he was, not very he was, often. He was there, but no, he didn't. Uh, he she was, walk around the store. She was the guts of the business. No mm -hmm. question. Oh man. But she was never malicious. I can't really, in spite of so many things people did to her. I all her, all her in-laws. What yeah. the hell? All them. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I know, but all my aunts. I mean, all they of were that, vicious to she her. She never, and she never said a word to her. Never, you know, malicious. They all piled in on her on Sunday. She never got upset. Oh no! How she loved it. Oh. She 
she was a baby say something to herself, you know, yeah. keep it to herself. Yeah. But she never occasionally, occasionally she might blow a little bit at my father. Because he would, then they would come in and then they would, what, what my mother used to say, bougie her. You know? <laughs> the three little sisters, man, they go, they go after him and they start the complaining about his mother doing this and she doesn't do this. And then he would say something to her, you know, criticizing her. And then she could blow her top. But, uh, but that was all. I'm the one who stood up to him. I kicked everybody out of the school at one time or the other. Well, she was so funny, I must tell you that before I got married in an Orthodox Jewish custom, a woman is supposed to go to one of these beds that they yeah, have. Yeah, mix, mix. I'm telling her that you understand. So I said, I am not going. She says, you're darn right you're not going. Come here with me. She got me upstairs in the bathroom and she put me in the shower and she gave it to me <laughs> up one side and down the other. She says, I'm going to make you kosher. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of stories like this. Oh. Yeah. Ina, you want to get this stuff? You can. You 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 probably don't remember this, but you know there was a Do you have enough home. light for There was a funeral home across the street from the store on Seventh Street, the ten hundred block. It was called Sergeant. Do you remember the name? Not the name. Do you know there was a funeral home across the street? Yes, I remember. Down near, yeah. near, near, near down near Peach. Peach was on the, the store, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's where yeah. Walter yeah. Thomas was that's up where, where, that's where Hunterman. That's where Hunterman was. 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 To dress the, the, the body, and you know that my mother used to go over there for two or three hours and do three or three bodies, <laughs> fix the hair, fix the face, and everything, dressing. Really? Damn yeah, right she did. Boy. Yeah, she oh, did. Yeah. And hell, then she used to go up to the Abramsons uh, in her spare young. time, go up there and make hats okay. with Rose Abramson. That's true. That's right. She yeah. did. I can tell she you did, there was, I tell you that there was nothing that she thought she was incapable of doing. There was no situation. Yeah, that there was no such thing I can't do it. That she thought that she couldn't do it. She no. all the clothes in the store. Oh, yeah. did she ever? You know what I have downstairs? I'm about to give it away. What sewing machine? Her old one that was the foot pedal. Oh, my You goodness. know how old that is? Yeah. Somebody said to me if I could find somebody who... Who uh, find was a collector it, that it might that be worth something? Really a travel sewing machine. It, she had it electrified. Oh. But I remember she sat in the back of that store and she repaired everything from women's hats to dresses to coats. Some of these women used to come in the store and they were big, you know. But we, really we handled size 60s. Hmm. And sometimes hmm. even now, our specialty was tight on. That's right. She used to go in back and alter it in some way. Then she'd put it on them and show them how to look. That's right. Yeah. No, we carried size 52 to 60. Stylish steps, <laughs> they were called. Yeah. More than stylish steps. 52 to 60. Yeah. And this yeah. was before air conditioning. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. And this was before deodorants. Oh, my God. And we had two little dressing rooms, which were about big enough for one person. And one of these big 350, at least, pound ladies would go in there. And my mother would go in to sit them. My mother would come out <laughs> green. I mean, the poor thing. She would just absolutely be green. Yeah, then she'd be down on her knees and fix the hammer yeah, and dress yeah. and everything. There was just nothing she could down on her hands and knees. Yeah. yeah. There was nothing that she felt she couldn't do. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Absolutely nothing. When I went to, uh, wanted to go to medical school, I was up on vacation with Bob Bernstein up in Vermont. And uh, uh, she had called uh, a friend of hers who was a, a uh, commissioner, for Bryan, Walter to Bryan. Oh, yeah, it's a lawyer. Uh, who it's was a lawyer. commissioner of D.C. Of DC. In those days, they didn't have a mayor. They had three yeah. appointed commissioners. And she told him she had this son, and uh, he wanted to go to medical school, and he had good marks, and he was smart. And who did he know that she could go to? So he said, uh, Pauline, the only person I know, and I don't think you can get him, get close to him, is Abram Lister. 
Back in those days, owned the Pally Royal, yeah, which is like the yeah. and local. And my mother, on one July day, goes over there, it must have been 105 degrees out, and walks in, asks for his office, gets to his office. The guy has the male secretary. And he, she says to the male secretary, I want to see Mr. Lipson. She talks to this guy a while. He said, uh, did you walk over here in this weather? And if you know her face, she must have been <laughs> red as a beat. And uh, she said, yes. Yeah. She said, I want to see if I can help my son. He said, well, I tell you, Ms. Rosen, anybody who come out on a day like this, you know, for something like this, you deserve something now. He's up in Maine, and I will give you his address. And you have your son right. And then she came back with the address, and I stood up in that store where the typewriter was because we didn't have a chair, and I composed and I wrote Abe Lister a letter, and I sent it up to Maine. And uh, I didn't hear anything, but within a couple of weeks, I get a letter in an old man's writing addressed to me, and I open it up, and there's a sealed letter addressed to Walter Blodon, who was only oh, yeah. dean of the medical school. Dr. Dr. Walter Blodon. And I hauled my tail over and got that to his office. And uh, that was in about July. And I had not been admitted to medical school. I was admitted to medical school about two weeks or ten days before medical school started. Mm -hmm. Only because somebody dropped out. Yeah. <clears throat> didn't didn't yeah. take, you know. And that's how I'm sure that's how I got into medical school. Because there were other guys just as, had just as good marks as I had. Uh, who did not get in. She used to tell us stories about Dr. Lodon. Yes, she did. That's well, she it. went to him, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? What time is it? He let, he, he let the, he let Mama know mm -hmm. that there's only a certain percentage. Oh, he told us that we're taking four. He said, we're not going to do that. He said, we don't take in more than four Jewish boys, you know, Jews, at any, uh, any year. And, uh, but what happened was the year that I, the years before that, there had been four, two, three, and the year that I got in was the year that Abram Listener gave them the money from the Listener yeah. Auditorium. For the Auditorium. Yeah, the new I was going to say that name there. And I was just, I just fell, fell in and came up smelling like a rose. But that was the year you were that, because in my class, we had something like 20 Jewish boys. On the basis of that, no question. Of whom I think all of them were in the first twenty five in the class. Al Hirsch got the young medical school that way. His mother yeah. went up there. Yeah. yeah. He couldn't talk straight English mm -hmm. Anyhow. Reminiscing, huh son? Who's afraid of the big bedroom? The big bedroom. The big bedroom. Who's afraid of the big bedroom? La 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 la. Who's afraid of the big bedroom?
Hey, Darren, are you having a good dinner? How are you doing? That's your whole dinner. That's your lunch, your dinner, and everything. Mm -hmm. I put Bach in there first, so I don't put it on top of the pile. I can't see much. She did what she did. I love this room. I love this room. This is your dinner? Yeah, that was the show. Yeah, I'm sure you have a good dinner. Where are you going to put the turkey? Where are you going to put the turkey? Where are you going to put the turkey? Where are you going to put it when you eat it? In your tummy? In your mouth? In your tummy, Okay. Did you know what the seat you're sitting at yet, Darren? Kevin has name plates. Darren did the cutting, Kevin did the right. Right. I, he took me up to his room and showed me all the pictures he got. I got some time. You know, I have all these things that I want to show everybody on the table. Hey Kevin, what is this picture right here? Snake and Indian sign. Snake and Indian sign. That's very good. Snake and Indian sign. Where did you get all this? That's a lot of work you did. Uh -huh. A snake and an Indian. Here we are, Darren. Just watch out. You got me. It's hot. Watch this yourself, Darren. Yes. Why not? Yes. A snake and an right, Indian. Kevin, it's a very expensive job. You did a very good job, Kevin. I'm proud of you. I can't just get you. Uh, you know that, Kev? No. It's very hot. Okay? Just wait. 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 Hey, Darren. Darren. Did you have a good time? Two years ago. Now we must, can, must we have the same? Yeah. Are you a biggie son? Can't. What's the three main Still dirt left. Cindy, you want to put those over here? Yes. You can do it by yourself. Can you do it by yourself? Darren, maybe Darren can do it. Can you can you do it, Darren? Say Baruch, Ator, Adonai. Adonai. Put your hands over. Put your hands over like that. That's it. Great. Well, you're doing it. We're watching. Show it. Do it, do 
Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah.